So wait a amiki. Look at your vacation. Now back to Rome. Now back to your vacation. Now back to Rome. Sadly, your vacation is not Rome. Ancient Rome is the vacation that your vacation should be. Look down. Where are you? You are in your domus on the Palatine Hill, the central and most important of the seven hills of Rome. The seven hills are the Palatine, the Capitoline, the Quirinal, the Esquiline, the Aventine, the Caelian, and the Viminal. This could be you, dining in style with the wealthy and nobles in the triclinium or dining room of your domus on the Palatine Hill. When you are ready to go sightseeing, get into your lectica, carried by the household slaves. What is in your hand? Back to me. I have it. An oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Chariot races at the Circus Maximus. You will have plenty of company at the Circus Maximus, which can see over 250,000 people. This stadium is the biggest in the entire empire. Watch chariots race past the center dividing barrier called the Spina and careen around the turning posts called the Metai. If you like games with more violence, head on over to the Flavian Amphitheater or Colosseum, the most famous amphitheater in the Roman Empire. While visiting, keep an eye out for the different styles of columns in the arches. The bottom level of arches features Doric columns because they are thought capable of holding more weight. Doric columns are the oldest and simplest type of classical columns. Now look up! The second level of arches is graced with the spiral scrolls of ionic columns. Now look up again. The third level of arches displays Corinthian columns, ornately decorated with acanthus leaves. In the arena, watch gladiator fights, animal fights, and sometimes even mock naval battles on the flooded floor. For more games, go to the Campus Martius. This field is used for military training, but also used for foot racing, discus throwing, and wrestling. In Rome, there are many beautiful temples, including the Temple of Jupiter, the Temple of Vesta, and the Temple of Castor and Pollux. But the Pantheon is the most important temple. The Romans believe that all their deities are housed in this massive structure. The Oculus provides amazing architectural stability by distributing the forces of compression within the colossal concrete dome. Don't forget to stop by Trajan's triumphal column inscribed with a boss relief depicting the wars between the Romans and the Dacians. Next, you will visit the Roman Forum, which is like downtown Rome, and go to the marketplace and the many temples here. Don't get lost in the crowd. Currently in 100 AD, there are over 1 million people living in Rome. Also in the Forum is the Curia, where the Senate meets. Perhaps you will hear a speech from the Rostra, the speaker's platform. In addition, there are basilicae, buildings in which judges hear cases and politicians make speeches. If the politics make you feel dirty, be sure to stop at one of the many thermi or bathhouses. First, you will go with your slaves to a medium temperature room called the tepidarium, which is heated by the hippo costume or underground heating system. Open your pores in the steaming hot waters of the caladarium while splashing your face in the cold water fountain. Back to me in the frigidarium or cold water room. I am the monster that your monster could smell like if you used oil and a striegel. The water is supplied to the bathhouses by aqueducts, which get water from the mountains and transport it to Rome. The water drains into the cloaca maxima, or greatest sewer. But who wants to see a sewer? Moving on, if you are worried about invasion, two defensive structures, the Serian Wall and the Aurelian Wall, will keep you safe. The Aurelian Wall is on track to be finished in 280 AD. It ranges 12 miles around the whole city. There is a massive tower about every 15 yards. The Aurelian Wall is the outer wall, and the Serian Wall is the inner wall. The Serian Wall is said to be built by the sixth king, Servius Tullius, but possibly built in the 4th century BC during the Republic. If you are looking for a cheaper housing option, you could stay in an insula or Roman apartment building. Also, the government provides free bread and games. If you want to tour more of Italy, the Via Appia or one of the many other roads will lead you where you wish to go. Anything is possible when you're in ancient Rome. Call 1-800-OLD-ROME to book your trip today. I'm on a horse.